we've learned and we've heard from many of your stakeholders in, in public in the past three days how important that this element is on this particular project. So we're very excited to to be to have the opportunity to incorporate education. We don't know how yet, and we've heard a lot of really good ideas, so we'll be sorting through those ideas to determine how we how we want to move forward. And in this case, you know, it could be in terms of signage. It could be in the terms of, of your reforested areas that we've seen um, that have already been started. There's a great tie-in. There's some wetlands. There's, you know, there's all kinds of things. So we'll be delving into that pretty heavily as part of this. And of course, you know, we all, we all, the, the buzzword of the, of the millennium is sustainability. And it's really more than a buzzword. It's something that we as landscape architects have, have always tried to incorporate into our projects. And we're just glad the rest of the world is finally catching up to us. So it's something that we, we believe very passionately about. So there are marvelous opportunities to, uh, to incorporate sustainability and education and art and maybe even combining those three on this project. Um, you know, a lot of our trails, a lot of our projects, we're starting to use pervious pavements, uh, curb gardens, which eliminates the need for storm drainage systems and cleanse the water before the storm drainage and surface drainage gets to the, to the system. Um, there's wetlands, there's um, even just the simple use of, of shade trees in a parking area. Um, we are, um, we have landscape architects in our firm that are LEED certified, so we really put an emphasis on, on the whole sustainability side of our